Kevin Sorbo, though, uh, is just a great guy. I'm a fan of some of the Christian movies he's produced and been involved in, uh, the kind of stuff I can show my kids. Uh, and, of course, everybody knows him from Hercules and a lot of other big TV shows and movies. And he's in a new libertarian uh, freedom-promoting film, AlongsideNightMovie.com. And, of course, uh, uh, the author is Neil Shulman, who we're going to get on coming up in a few weeks because all the breaking news, uh, we're moving him, obviously, with the Russian crisis. But Alongside Night uh, is the new film uh, in theaters and uh, many other places coming out. So we want this libertarian-style, freedom-based film to be successful. Kevin Sorbo, thanks for coming on with us. Hey, good to be here. Good to see you. Well, a lot happening. Uh, before we get into the film, what do yeah. you think about how crazy the world's gotten and, and the open borders and Obama and the anti-gun executive orders and everything else? What's your take on that? Well, the movie kind of feeds into that, actually. This book was written back in 1979 by Neil Shulman, and it pretty much predicted uh, everything that's going on in the world right now with the economy, with uh, Americans losing their independence, losing their freedom of speech, losing their freedoms as a whole, and, uh, you know, everything. It's just, it's, it's amazing of, of how accurate this, this book has predicted what's going on right now, and it's, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with this whole Putin thing. I mean, has Russia even changed, really? I mean, they, they make, KGB is just a different name, you know, so it's, uh, I've been to Russia recently. I actually went over in January, and I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't move there. So, uh, you know, people still, when they're in trouble, who do they come to? They come to America first, don't they? Even, even though they've been bashing us for the last dozen years, they still come here first whenever there's a problem. Well, I totally agree that America is a lot better than Russia. What's left the Bill of Rights, <laughs> Constitution, due process. And I don't, as Ron Paul has said, you know, say Putin's an angel. My issue is George Soros has been intimately involved in the whole Ukraine thing. So I think both sides are bad, manipulating yeah. the Ukrainians against each other. I just hope this plane shoot down doesn't escalate some type of conflict with Russia. Yeah, it's pretty, sc it's pretty scary. It's just sad and it's pathetic. And it's, uh, I mean, I, I think with all the evidence mounting already, just within 24 hours, they're, they're, they're going to be able to find the guy who actually pressed the button. So it's, um, it's, it's pretty insane. I mean, look, look what's going on. I mean, you go back to Watergate. You go back to all the attacks on, on Nixon during that time. Good Lord, in the last six years, we've had far more mini scandals that have been much, much bigger. But look where we are. We're not doing anything about them. It just shows you where the moral curve has gone in this country and in the world, where everything now is, everything's okay. And we're such an apathetic country right now that people don't seem to care that this country is skidding down into a third world nation. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.